Well, it's a winter wonderland. It's a big change of scene since our last video. Uh, we've had an awful lot of snow come down. In fact, uh, the uh, whole power grid was out uh, across a lot of Ontario uh, the other day, and uh, we received oh, probably a good uh, 10 to 12 inches of snow by the looks of it around here, eh, Maureen? Yeah, and annually we get what between eight and ten feet of snow so we we're well on our way for our seasonal average <laughs> so the shovels are out and ready to go we've also had a lot of branches and trees that fell down from the winter storm with the snow load uh, not only does it play havoc with all the you know the uh, electrical wires and whatnot uh, in the area but the tree branches uh, also come down across paths and roadways and it's across our cabin trail and we've got a lot of cleaning up to do there as well yeah the snow load it can be pretty incredible that's for sure well we got a nice shot of a deer from our trail cam the other day and uh We've got quite a few trail cams actually out there. We've purchased a few more over the last few months uh, because the property is fairly large and we'd like to have a good spread of what's happening, uh, you know, at the different uh, geographical features on the property. And uh, with all this heavy snow too, it's been a great chance for us to test out our Reolink uh, wireless uh, cam system that we have uh, monitoring the property and um, that's really cool that it does work even you know in the in the uh, not so great weather because we were kind of wondering about that but it does really good captures that's the kind that it uploads the the pictures and whatnot is live and uploads them to the to the phone so that's really cool that uh, we've got that it's really uh, nice to be able to have and sometimes uh, we get an alert and I'll ask Marie, what's that? It's a deer. <laughs> it's a deer calling. <laughs> so it's, it's funny when it happens. Anyways, so that's really neat. And you know, I think that part of the uh, other thing that we would really like to do is get out and explore some of the back country. Uh, we may uh, grab our snowshoes and uh, just go on a, on a jaunt and uh, do some exploring. Uh, there's a few back lakes around here that um, are really nice to uh, to check out. Actually, I wouldn't mind doing some trying some ice fishing this year. Yeah, that'd be great. So, what lakes do you think we're gonna try? Um, well, Loon Lake is a nice lake. Yeah. And that's not too far. Or we could go up to uh, Lake Bernard, which yeah. is a really nice wide, you know, it's, it's not that deep of a lake, but it's really good for ice fishing. So. I know, I see a lot of huts and There's people a lot of huts sunning there, yeah. and fishing. So we could probably try that. Yeah. Um, but uh, just remember, fishing's not always about just fishing, it's about the catching, right? No, so I wanna, want to catch. We want to catch something. So we're going catching. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are getting uh, ourselves settled in, getting the cabin cleaned out and cleaning up all these trees. It's kind of held us back a little bit in our progress uh, because we've had to take all the time in, in cutting all these trees up and so forth. So, uh, But that's just some of the challenges that winter throws at you and, and uh, we go with it and roll with it. And uh, we missed our live stream because of the uh, all the snow load and everything that we were doing and uh, we'll try to catch you on the next one that's all for now I'm Glenn I'm Maureen over now take care mm -hmm.